So guys, the Do Parenting Pod is here. The things people didn't tell us mm. that we found out by ourselves. <laughs> the good, the bad, the scary, the ugly, and the exciting. So it's called Do Parenting Pod. Don't mm. forget that. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> What's tickling you? I, what's tickling you? Anyway, <laughs> my people, welcome to our, another episode of our podcast. What's our topic for today, babe? Um, so today on Dew, we'll be talking about discipline, um, which is not my favorite topic in the world. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I mean, you cannot spare the rod and spoil the child. So who is going to be the wielder of the rod? <laughs> we, we had this conversation before, yeah, before we had kids. It's always very important when you're trying to have kids that you should sit down the same way when you want to, have, you want to get married. Right, yeah. yeah, you should have conversations on... What are you going to do? Um, who would be the child? Who be the discipline one? Even when they're KPI. <laughs> <laughs> yes, my own KPI was that I would be the one that would beat Kion because because she has fast hands. <laughs> yes, those say it as it is. Used to just quickly. Ch- Ooh, baby, fast spiky, hands. Spiky. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Justin. I, I apologize on behalf. <laughs> so yeah, I said I was going to be the one that would. Do the, do the spanking and you would be the one that would dialogue dialogue be his talk to him but he was born and your move button was pushed like it is ridiculous <laughs> because now he's running around climbing stuff um grabbing things that he shouldn't he like every time kion goes into a room mm. everybody follows him because he's just going to open a drawer or something. Or and, climb or one climb cabinet something or and something. just pick up something and start to explore. Like he's constantly taking things apart already. Mm. So, you know, the initial agreement, because I, I don't, I honestly couldn't see myself as being able to bring myself to spank. So she was like, no, don't me. I will spank this child. Because my mother spanked me. My mother spanked this. <laughs> <laughs> my mother spanked me. So I was like, and... If I was, if I, if I would say, you turned out all right. I turned out all right. I turned out all right. So I, I think the the ideology, the idea I had was, um, if you would spank the child, they would turn out all right. But, mm. but now that's the I'm more child. matured. Mm. That's the that's the excuse that you're giving. I am but more it's okay, matured. You're more mature, yes. Okay. Yes, and I saw my baby's cute face. <laughs> that's the end. And I said, no, nah, I don't think spanking is all that. I, I would, I would talk to him. And I think we also sat down after he was born <laughs> and agreed that it's not it's not right for someone to be the good cop, bad cop. Yeah, so because yeah, so we we agreed that, you know, she would do the spanking, I'll do the So basically I'm the bad cop. So she said yes, that she would gladly take on the role as as bad cop. But then, you know, a few months passed, we we you know, you learn every day. So we learned a little more and realized that chances are high that you know, the child will grow up thinking one of the parents is the cool parents because that's the one that talks to them and they can hang with and tell things. Yeah. And the other one is the one that they're afraid of. So I felt that it would be unfair for her to be the bad cop and then I'm the good cop. I end up being the one that he wants to hang with. And then she's the one that I don't like mommy. Don't and tell I me appreciate mommy that you brought that up and that you decided that, you know, let's not do it that way because it's, it's, that's what happened for my parents and I. Yeah. My mom was a bad, bad cop. cop. My dad was a fun you know, cop. Time always, time always, you know, sorts. Yeah, so that's where I'm like heading to. Uh-huh. My mom was a bad cop. My dad was the good cop. Yeah. And he was always the person we could run to play with, jump on his neck and head and play with him and all that. And at some point in my life, mm-hmm. when I was in my 20s, yeah. yeah, 18, 19, 20s, mm-hmm. boys were not allowed in my house. And my dad turned out to be the bad cop. <laughs> because <laughs> yes at that point in time <laughs> fathers are like that protecting their girls so my dad was the bad cop my mom too was like it's your dad so whatever your dad says yeah mm-hmm. then right now after I've, I'm a mother now my mom happens to be the best cop ever <laughs> <laughs> because I have seen all what she went through yeah. and raising five kids wow Imagine what people raising 12 kids. Please, let's not. Don't give me, don't give me, don't. don't but maybe sure we, we want 12, right? <laughs> <laughs> what's we? Is that French? We, 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 what's we? It's not me. I'm not among. Because, no, see, I will say this thing anywhere. Come and beat me. Listen, if you haven't done this yet and you're still maybe or not, then see, when in doubt, do without. Mm. Let me just tell you now. Um, 
having kids is 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 intense. It is at the same time the most exciting and the scariest thing of my entire life. Mm. So if you know say you never because no matter how prepared you think you are, you're never ready for it. Oh, you and will, we we found out that you learn on the job. Yeah. You learn every day every child how to be a parent. Yeah. So yeah, so my mom my mom is now the best cop ever. Yeah. Yeah. She's cool. She's cool. She's cool. She's the best. I think that's what everybody will say but about that, but their Daddy, moms you know, now. we still... Yeah, yeah, daddy, yeah, we love mom. you. Yes, yes. I love you, Daddy. <laughs> what I did not say, bro, you did not back me up. Give me my daughter. <laughs> daddy, please. Oh. You know you have grandchild now. You cannot connect your daughter. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing at me? You're supposed to be on my side. I am on your side, Good. baby. Yeah, that's right. Daddy, that's true. So, yes. So, man, growing up, right, my mom did a fair amount of spanking. And then there's this conversation that is going on um, that I've been following on Twitter for a while now. It's been going on for like a couple of years, you know, um, especially with millennials saying that, oh, I need therapy because they used to beat me. And for real, for real, um, there's some examples that people have given that shows that it'd be like, say, true, true. Their parents were excessive, you know, in this banking. I don't think my mom was excessive. I was, um, I am still, you know, hard-headed. Um, oh, yes, you are. <laughs> But I'll, I'll let that slide. <laughs> but, so she did a fair amount of spanking. and But she found other ways to discipline me as well. You know, taking the video games, stopping me from going to go and play football, um, cutting down my TV time, all those kind of things. Oh, you enjoyed? But she flopped. <laughs> yeah. I picked Pete. Oh, no, no, that one is standard now. You, I picked you, Pete. Yes. <laughs> Saliva, <laughs> Kata, everything go join. <laughs> <laughs> I picked Pete. But do you, but do you think we're traumatized? Do you think that fear were more af- we're more afraid we 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 behaved because we were afraid more than we behaved because we understood? Yeah, you, you, yeah. You think I so think too? we behaved because we we're afraid of what our parents, what our mothers, mm. some people fathers, mm. was going to do to them if they found out that they were naughty or they've done something yeah. bad that would they wouldn't have, they wouldn't um, find, you know. Yeah. So I personally feel like. Um, Growing up, a lot of us did the right thing because we are afraid mm. of what our parents would do to us, not because we understood what they meant when they said we shouldn't do those things. So, is that do you? Do you feel the same way? Do you feel like that's what that's what it is? Yeah, I think most of us were afraid to. Um, we did things out of fear, mm. not out of that we understand. Yeah. So yeah, I think I'm I'm at, I'm I'm under that yeah. I'm on that table. <laughs> I did things out of fear, mm. the fear of my mom coming home. So you behaved home. yourself because you were afraid. Yes, not because you understood. Understood why I should behave myself. Mm. Yeah. So, so what I, was the worst thing you ever did? The worst flogging you ever collected. What What did you do? I wrong? can't remember. But the wo- my dad flogged. My dad spanked me just once. Oh. And with his fat hands. <laughs> 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 with his fat hands, he spanked me once, and that I. Can't forget the reason why. Oh, I can remember my mom's own. That one, she flogged me and I picked pin and kata and everything came out. Uh-huh. My, my, my siblings can remember this one. But my dad's own was, I think my dad was having a bad day. Bad day. Mm. And we came back from school as usual, kids. Boy, we didn't even take off our uniform. We dropped our bags and went to our neighbor's house. Our neighbor is not even just next door. Next door. It's like the next building. So we went to our neighbor's house. And from our, we can see who is coming back. But the thing is, well, having so much fun playing and running around and doing, oh, hide and seek and catch her. <laughs> <laughs> and we didn't see our father walk past, Ooh. climb up the stairs, and went to the house. And, and the next thing we just said here was, oh, yeah, catch it. <laughs> hey, woman. Hey. We just said, ah, that is back. That is back. <laughs> we now ran thinking, oh, it's just daddy. I dad. mean, that is the cool guy. And he came back with a friend. So he said, Why, where, where have you people been scolded and shouted? And we we're like, oh, our neighbor's place, what were you doing there? Don't tell me homework. Mm. You're still in your uniform. Before, yeah. He didn't wait for my mommy to come back. Mm. And then he just carried us inside. <laughs> Raised her, spanked the living day like a lot of us. I, all I remember was that my legs were just doing like this. <laughs> <laughs> and I've seen pictures of you and you, you were tiny. I was tiny. So he just held your hand. I, I cried eh? <laughs> and You know that kind of thing. You would cry. You would hurt more because it's him. Yes. Not necessarily because of the pain. This guy, <gasps> daddy. Yes. Uh-huh. Yes. And that was the last time we went to our neighbor's house. <laughs> Damn, because we lent. 
okay. that we shouldn't go there um, without my parents knowing because we left the house open and yeah. went. Then as for my mom, that one I can never forget is we went, we got back home. This time we was in our house. So we went to the backyard and we're now playing, playing, playing. So we saw the scaffolding and we climbed the scaffolding and there was a tank on top of the scaffolding that was rusting and heavy and we climbed. We wanted to get to the top, get to that tank. Then a neighbor from the backyard was telling us, calm down, calm down. We're like, "Mm, (laughs) mind your business. (laughs) (laughs) You know kids now. She went and she told my mom. We came Oof. back. We were sleeping, enjoying our dreams and sweet dreams. And one came, woke us up. Come and oh. get it. So, who and who was playing outside? Did you play today? No. <laughs> 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 then she caught us in our light, mm-hmm. told us we were playing, we we're doing catch up. We went to the backyard. Did we play at the backyard? We said yes. And I said, no, it's okay. You played in the house, right? Yeah. You played at the backyard. Yes. Did you, Did you climb, climb the, the scaffold? scaffolding? Um, 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 I'll take that as a yes. <laughs> Come here. Then she flogged the <laughs> living daylight out of all of us. Me, my <laughs> elder brother, my younger sister. My uh, my other brother went scot free because he wasn't feeling well. So mm. he was just. I said, "You, if I touch you now, you will just fall down here." <laughs> but he followed us, <laughs> so they didn't touch him. But we, after taking flogging, my dad was just there sitting there looking because he was he can't say anything because. You yeah. actually climbed scaffolding, yeah. so you deserve the yeah. spanking you get. After that, we did. My mom asked us to pick between um, sitting on the wall and riding mm-hmm. the bike or, or pick pin. And, and all of us thought sitting on the wall and riding the bike was going to be hard. You know I mean? So we said, like, pick pin. How many? She said, she gave us, like, pick pin was 20 minutes, pick pin. Sitting on the wall and it would be like 30 minutes. So we said, mm, we'd rather pick, yeah. yeah. We pick pin there. <laughs> You don't be shaking like this. You know shaking. And we can't That's follow you know? <laughs> my legs. Because the moment you fall, more flogging. Then you go back to it. That time you just see me. I just be... <laughs> <laughs> what about you? What was the worst flogging you got from your mom? Man, funny thing is, I think my the worst one came in the you know, you know when you're beginning to outgrow getting flogged. Uh-huh. So it was when, you know, you don't they believe, say, I'm too big now, they cannot be flogging me. Mm-hmm. Those days. So I'd done something and um, see now withdrew my access to my Sega. I think it was Sega Mega Drive 2 at that time. She's not collecting my video game. Ah! At that time, I think Mortal Kombat 2 had just dropped. So I was heartbroken. I was pained. So one day I had this, then I think I was, I can't remember what class I was, but I was a junior student at the time. And so there was this guy, he was in SS, I remember he was in SS2 at the time. He was one of those cool seniors, really cool. It was during the holidays and he lived, you know, pretty close to our house. So he now told, so my best friend at the time went to his place to play and then now now came by my house. I was grounded, by the way. Yes. Mm-hmm. So once he collected my, my um, Sega, grounded me. So but he now came and said, that, oh, by the way, because we call him Senior Foxy. He now said, by the way, I'm just coming from Senior Foxy's house. Man, he has Mortal Kombat. Ah! <laughs> my mind was like, what? I said, you've played it. He said, yes. I said, ah! But see, you played, you played um, what, MK2 before me. He said, yes, that man, they were there all day, the day, like that, they were there all day. This was in the evening. I was like, wow. You know, for the rest of that day, I couldn't think of anything else. But the next day, combat. All, was, that, all that was in my cranium was MK2. Next day, it was just Usi and I at home. Momsi went, I can't remember where Momsi went with Vanessa. So I just check and see, Momsi will come house to like that kind of five. You understand? So this was like two in the afternoon. I just looked at Usi. It's like, Usi, do you want to play a game? Yes. Will you follow me? Yes. Come on, your slippers. So I just went, hey, boy, slippers. <laughs> <laughs> As I got out of the house, I locked the door. Because Momsi always has a key. Understand? Locked the door. myself and So my mind was, we'll go there. this was like two in the afternoon. We'll go play to like four, come back home. It was like two streets away. No big deal. Got to Fox's house. Just see FGCK boys. Like, my, my like, Practically all the boys in my, all my friends were there. Then some of our seniors were there, prefects were there. Like, focus, they had this massive house. So all of us were just there, like 20 something boys. And, you know, rich Northern family, everybody gets, you know, his, their, their people were cooking. So they brought us lunch. All the boys were just there, playing um, Mortal Kombat, laughing, playing. This guy looked at the clock, it was, two, it was past three. At some point, I looked, okay, past three. I don't play like two or three, you know, 
drops. We're good. Plain, plain, plain. Next thing. Ah, somebody just came inside. And I said something to Foxy. He now said, Ibrahim. And I said, and I said, your mommy is looking for you. I was like, okay, what? And I looked at him. I said, my mommy, he said, yes. Where? He now said, she's outside. See eh? That's how I now looked at the clock. It was to eight. PM? Yes. So because in the house, while we're playing, so all the windows were drawn, the lights were off because boys want to just, you know that feel you get? I didn't realize that it was nighttime. Five hours had passed. I didn't know. See, I just looked at my brother and I knew that I was, I was like, this is the last time I'm going to see you because <laughs> I'm dead. Then you're going to be dead next because <laughs> goodbye, brother. I'm sorry I've killed you. <laughs> I knew I was dead. He just came out. So <laughs> basically, Foxy just knew that I was, because I think the look on my face was like, man, I'll see you guys on the other side because it's over. <laughs> I'm dead. Mm -hmm. So he was like, you, so he now called, told his oldest um, sister, who was basically really, you know, much older than us. And she could have, she was old enough to have, to have been our mom. Um, and then, so he, he told her to please come with us and him to explain to mom. See. So she was like, ah, oh, no problem. She now started laughing, this guy, that she understands. She now took us, you know, me on one side, Lucy on one side, Foxy with her. We now went outside. He now greeted mom. See, mom, she was like, ah, Abba, how are you? Blah, blah, blah. So now he now introduced her that this is, she was like, oh, she sees her drive. So they just said, and um, sister was not like, that's so sorry. That time just went and that she actually was the one that told us to wait so that we could eat. In my mind, I was like, don't say that! Because that they had cooked and they wanted us to have dinner too before we left. In my mind, I was like, my mother would say, so I don't have food in my house. You people went to go and start begging for food. I was like, God, no, you're making things worse. So mom, she was like, no, it's okay. I understand. Ah. Was, she was, all, was, she was all, in my mind, I was like, oh, okay. She remember that was sweet and smiling. I was like, oh, she's so pretty. It's so nice and understanding. Like, wow, mom. <laughs> so mom, she was like, no, that she understands. That's why she even came so that she would just pick us up and everything. That she didn't want us to walk back home. You know, at this time, yada, yada, blah, blah. And that at least she knew where we were. You know, they just not like that. Yeah, so, you know, most of these young boys, you don't even know if they're at least, These ones, we know that when they're not at home, they're in that in this friend's house. That's why they always, like, yeah, that's why she makes all my friends. Yeah. <laughs> So me too, I was now in my mind. Eh? You wonder where you get your acting skills. Zinko, <laughs> guess, get, like, Zin is right. Maybe from my mother I got, because he was, she was spot on. Mom, she was all very nice, very understanding, very, no, it's fine. It's not a problem. Let's go home, boys. Oh, okay. I guess I will see you guys. I'm not dying tonight. Bye, boys. We'll see you. We're going to leave. Hopped in the car. Oh, <laughs> Few moments. <laughs> Few moments later. Well, she just drove. She didn't say anything. Got home, she now got into the house, you know, dropped keys, went to the kitchen, did something, came out. Me, so I just sat there, you know, checking the temperature. And she was calm. Okay, this is all right. Next thing, my mother said, Lucy, yes, mommy, come here. Ha! She It'll said, be the small one first. Yes, now. <laughs> she now said, Where did you, why did you, um, where did you go? He now said, I followed you, Brian. Eh. Why? No, mommy, he said, I should go and play a game. Eh. Okay, come here. Bass, bass, bass. Spanked him, spanked him, spanked him. So I was crying. She finished to smile. She came to me. My mind was like, okay, I'm too big to be spanked. So maybe she's going to shout. In my mind, I was like, she don't collect my PS. She don't ground me. What else? Now beating. Oh, boy.